Welcome to this video that's going to teach you more about the lover archetype. If you're the kind of person who's committed to your own personal growth and understand that the introspective work you do on yourself can lead to outer success in all areas of your life and business, then you're going to love this series about the 12 archetypes. Hi, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and consultant, and I help other midlife women align their online identity with their inherent personal identity. I do that through content creation consultation based on personality archetypes and follow through all the way to photo and video production. When you have a deeper understanding of yourself, you're able to more easily recognize patterns of behavior, thought, emotion, and beliefs that both hinder and help your personal and professional journey. With this insight, you're able to course correct and realign the traits and characteristics that are authentically part of your inherent makeup. If you've ever felt like a square peg being jammed into a round hole and just not finding the fit, it's likely you're forcing yourself into someone else's idea of a desirable reality. In truth, we all have unique drivers and motivations that we're born with and all too often, due to a lack of awareness and understanding, we find ourselves pursuing an outcome we don't even want, simply because that outcome was presented to us as the only option. When you realize who you really are, it's easier to define what you really want and start taking steps towards a reality that aligns with your true nature. If you don't yet know your dominant archetype, be sure to pause this video and take my free archetype quiz. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete and then you can hop back on here to finish this video with more clarity. If you've already taken the quiz and you know your archetype, but this isn't the one, head to my channel, check out the playlist on the 12 archetypes and find the video relating to your dominant archetype. So without further ado, let's dig into understanding more about the lover archetype. The lover, peacemaker, companion, romantic. At the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. Plato. The lover archetype is motivated by connection with others and passion for life in general. You put your heart and soul into relationships, activities, or causes. Your vitality for life and your unapologetic sensuality speak volumes, and you're heart-led when deciding on jobs, activities, relationships, and elements that adorn your surroundings. The part of you that's a lover is motivated by the depths of your heart connection to others. Lovers are drawn to careers, relationships, experiences, and objects that bring personal enjoyment and aesthetic beauty. Lovers pursue deep human connection and companionship and enjoy activities that get their pulse racing. Lovers have a deep appreciation for life and those they encounter along the way and do so with great exuberance. Lovers naturally and easily help others forge close connections and appreciation for each other. Lovers are charismatic and others feel the magic of a lover's attention. The lover in you tends to notice how people connect with each other, how to create support among each other, and how to make an environment and experience more pleasing and conducive to that support. With their attention to all things beautiful and inspiring, lovers may overlook the significance of items or situations that are solely functional. They may also disregard people and things that lack aesthetic or physical appeal. Lovers are highly attuned to vulnerability as a means to attain intimacy, and with experience, they learn when and where it's appropriate for them to reveal their own vulnerability. The underlying story of a lover's journey embodies the nurturing of relationships with others. When faced with challenges, the lover seeks to understand where the breakdown in the relationships occurred and how they can be repaired. Eventually, the lover learns to let go of the romanticized version of people and circumstances in favor of learning to accept imperfection and realness. Activities and tasks fulfilling to a lover involves lots of collaboration. When solving a problem, a lover will endeavor to create an experience that elicits feelings of ecstasy at the most or feelings of being special at the least. Lovers are the peacekeepers among colleagues and friends thanks to their well-attuned empathy. The part of you that's the lover finds happiness when all the senses are engaged and stimulated because it affirms their appreciation for the gift of being alive. Lovers seek connection in all forms, with other people, with nature, with the unknown universe. First prize for a lover is to be passionately in love with someone who feels the same, although they'll lavish such passion in all things, including experiences, hobbies, careers, pets, beautiful landscapes, and interiors, as well as sentimental items. My hope is that after watching this video, you've got more clarity about the lover archetype. Remember, if you don't yet know your archetype, please be sure to go and do my free quiz over at abigailk.com forward slash quiz. This video will resonate a lot more when you know which archetype is your most dominant. If you'd like to learn how you can use personality archetypes to express your personal brand with more clarity and confidence, check out my class on Skillshare. 
And now over to you. Let me know in the comments three ways in which you're going to start intentionally expressing your dominant archetype. That could mean changing the way you dress or the jewelry you wear. Or perhaps you're going to take up a new hobby that you've always wanted to do, but you felt others wouldn't approve. If it aligns with your archetype, start that hobby. Or perhaps you're ready to make the commitment or to change your lifestyle to bring it more into alignment with who you inherently are. I'm excited to see how this awareness transforms your life.